Hello and welcome to Doctor's Care. This is Dr. Muhammad Awais. I am a certified expert of NVivo. In today's video, I am focusing on how to analyze interviews using NVivo. My project involves asking from different universities a key question, which is what are the major causes of stress? For this video, I will walk you through how NVivo can simplify and enhance the analysis of these interviews. If you are considering getting a license of NVivo for your own research, just send me an email at the email address that is showing on your screen. Plus, did you know that I offer one-on-one -on -one guidance on NVO data analysis techniques? Yes, that's right. Whether you are just getting started or need advanced tips, I am here to help. So don't hesitate to reach out via email. And remember to subscribe to the channel for more insightful content and to join our interactive viewer meetings regularly. Let's explore the world of NVO together. So these are the files of different interviewees. Let's open one of them to see the structure. So this is the file of one interviewee whose name is Daniel. His age is 22. Education is bachelor's. University is public. And monthly family income ranges from 100 US dollars to 1500 US dollars. And the only question that was asked was, what are the major causes of stress? And here is the answer of that interviewee. Now open NVivo. Create a new project. I'm going to give it a name, causes of stress. Hit next, create project, and the project has been created. Skip to a close. This data deals with all the files that you are going to import into NVivo. And this coding deals with themes and sentiments, etc. This cases. If your data is about persons or organizations, these cases will become important. In case of persons, persons would have some attributing values like gender, income, age, etc. etc. And when it comes to organizations, attributing values may be number of employees, etc. etc. So we have persons in our interviews, right? When we import files into NVivo, we have to import those files as cases because those files relate to persons. I'm going to demonstrate practically in front of you. But before importing, let's set up the attributing values of those persons beforehand. How to do that? When you go to case classification, when you right click here, there will be an option of new classification. You can give any name to a new classification. There are predefined classifications available in NVivo, which are organization or person. You can explore those as well. However, I'm going to create a new one, which is about people. Hit OK. And a new classification is created. Now right click here and give a new attribute to it. What are your key attributing values that you are associated with your data, with your persons? In our case, it is about age, education, university, and monthly family income. Create these attributing values one by one. Age. Now you have to set the range of age of the persons that represent your data. Double click on this new attribute. Go to value and add 22. The age in my data set ranges from 22 to 25. So 23, 24 and 25 and hit OK. Now new attribute which is education. OK and similarly double click on it and set the values and then university. In my case it is whether public or private and monthly family income. The case classification system has been set up. Age ranges from 22 to 25. Education ranges from bachelor's, master's and PhD. Family monthly income 100 to 1500, 1500 01 to 2000, and so on and so forth to more than 2500 US dollars. And university, which is public or private. Now we are ready to import our data into NVU. Go to Files, Import tab, and Files. Here are those interviews. Let's randomly select one. When you double click on a file, this box appears. Here you will see an option of create a case for each imported file. Hit here. When you check this box, you will be asked to assign a classification to this file. As I have already created a new case classification, which is people. So I am going to assign this to this file. Hit import. Hit OK. And the file has been imported. If you go to case, you will see a case has also been created. Right click on that case go to case property, go to attribute values and give the relevant 
attributing values to this case you can open your word file to accurately assign attributing values to this case so this is the file age 22 bachelor's student university public and this is the monthly income university public age is 22 family income ranges from 1000 to 1500 us dollars education is bachelor's and hit ok now this case has been imported and has been assigned the relevant attributing values we have to repeat this procedure on all the files that we are going to import in nvivo go back here hit on files select all files don't select those files that you have already imported select all relevant files and hit open add to existing classification paper ok import so now go to cases and here are the cases you have to give attributing value to each case manually right click case property and here the attributing values and give the relevant attributing value to relevant case after assigning attributing values to all the cases let's start the procedure of coding you can open any case by double clicking on it so here is the details of that case now you have to read the interview Firstly, academic pressure is immense due to the competitive nature of education and the societal emphasis on seeing top grades for future success. This pressure is heightened by the limited availability of quality education resources and the perception that academic achievement is the sole path to the prosperous future. So these two sentences are about academic pressure. So now go to codes, right click and create new code, which is academic pressure. It's okay. Here you need to keep one thing in mind. If you code all the relevant text into one theme, then you have to do that on all themes. I mean the relevant text, whether it is one paragraph or two paragraph or the whole file, then you have to code all the relevant text at once into one particular theme. Or you can go sentence by sentence. I would suggest you to go with sentence by sentence. For example, go with the first sentence first, drag and drop to this, and then second sentence drag and drop to this so by this way you have set the unit of analysis in a way a sentence it is particularly important when you go to analysis part and the next line is about financial concerns so right click financial concerns hit ok and then drag and drop to financial concerns now let's understand these numbers one which means that this theme has been populated with the data from one file this too means that this theme has been populated with two times drag and drop i mean with two times coding into it the reference means number of times you have coded the data into this theme and this one file means number of files from which you have coded data into this theme go through the data and create the themes accordingly this is called inductive approach but if you are using deductive approach which means that you have already some themes in mind that came from a theory or a conceptual framework or whatever you should create those themes before starting this coding procedure and then drag and drop data into those themes so it is entirely upon your research scholarship whether you're using inductive approach or deductive approach so these are the themes that have been extracted from the data of all interviewees financial concerns academic pressure health and wellness and some other particular stresses that the interviews talk about four files means from four files the data has been populated into this theme nine means nine sentences have been coded into this theme let's quickly recap i created case classification of person age education family income and university and then attributing values which is that range of our participants and then i imported data and then i created cases from that data and then i assigned relevant attributing values to that data and then from each case relevant text has been coded into relevant themes now import part is done setting the attributing values part is done coding part is done let's go with analysis so for analysis we utilized explore ribbon tab first let's go with word frequency you can apply this word frequency on all files cumulatively on all cases cumulatively or you can do on particular file or case as well search in set the boundary let's say select item i want to search in this interview's file okay 
display words how many most frequent words that we want to extract 10 let's say what should be the minimum character of a word if you set three minimum length then the articles like the will also come into the most frequent words so let's say i have set four search in a particular interview file display words 10 most frequent words minimum character length of a word is four run query so these are the most frequent words that have been appeared in this particular file so if you go to word cloud here so you will see a cloud like picture like is not a word that seems relevant here so how to deal with it right click on the word that you seem not relevant to the query and hit that add to stop words list okay now run query again so the like disappears and the 11th most frequent words in your data will come because that will become as 10th so this is how you can customize your word frequency query tree map students appears the most while university appears the least you can customize further so this is word frequency you can apply on all files on multiple files or on a particular file or folder as well if you want to search a particular text this text search query comes into play select file let's say this file okay and the word academic and hit run query so the word academic in this particular file appears for four times this is the reference where the word has appeared by the way you can go to broad context and run query so you will see a broad context around that word this is how you can search a particular word in a particular file folder or on all files let's delve into some more serious business matrix coding query now you will be shown two columns i'm gonna broaden up again here you can set the boundary of this query let's say i want to search in how many sentences our cases have talked about financial concerns so at one side i will take into account all the cases these cases okay on the other box i will choose the relevant theme code which is financial concerns okay run query so you will see this interview has talked about financial concerns in two sentences and this interview in four are four and no other case has any stress related to financial concerns let's take into account all the themes codes all themes okay and run query so this interview is more concerned about future uncertainty than financial concerns and is more concerned with future uncertainty than this interview we based on number of sentences or number of references remember and you can take into account a chart as well so here you go for this interview we social relationship is the major cause of stress than the other ones and this interview is worried about mental health issues more than others so you can have a graphical look at your data by the way we can use this comparison on attributing value as well for example i'm gonna take into account all themes in one box and on the other box i will select an attributing value of person uh, let's say age okay 22 you can select multiple attributing values as well and 23 okay and run query so those who are 22 years of age talked about academic pressure in three sentences so 23 years of age talked in six sentences about academic pressure so social relationships is a major cause of stress among our data particularly in 22 years of age and 23 years of age 10 and 14 references you can take into account the chart as well so here you go the next thing that i'm going to explore is coding tab so in this query we need to give certain conditions that are the boundary of this query and give different conditions i mean let's say show me the data which is coded into family expectations okay another condition which should also be coded into mental health issues okay 
but that should not be coded into not coded to a particular let's say social relationships theme so what does this query mean so this will show all the data that has been coded into family expectations as well as mental issues at the same time that data should not be coded into social relationships and hit run query and you will find that relevant text below another thing that you would be interested to look at is hierarchy charts hit here hierarchy charts codes okay next finish so you will see a graphical presentation of all your codes all your themes social relationships theme has more data than family expectations or adjustment to university life mental health issues has more data than health and wellness by the way you can change this graphical presentation by going here to sunburst so here you go summary you will find the number of references or number of sentences here so another thing that i want to show is right click on a new file go to visualize chart document coding so this is the frequency of the data to different themes for example so this interview has more mental health issues than academic pressure let's say here you can see the frequency here and you can check the summary as well similarly if you go right click here go to visualize explore diagram so you can see the graphical presentation of this file i mean so from this file the data has been coded into these themes by the way you can apply this explore diagram on a code as well right click visualize explore diagram so this theme has been populated from these files don't forget to save your file at every step thanks for tuning in today i hope you find this video helpful in understanding how nvivo can elevate your research projects if you are seeking one-on-one -on -one guidance feel free to send an email at the email address that is showing at your screen also if you are seeking a paid license i can provide guidance on this email hit the like button and leave a comment below about this video and don't forget to like share and subscribe for more content like this